Hi, my name is Kelly, and I want to thank you for coming to Make Uppity with me. So today, what we're getting ready to do is show you how I do my fruit cup process. Now, these fruit cups uh, are going to be for me and my household. My daughter and I just got finished doing a, how many day? About a 10 day, about a 10 day fruit and veggie diet challenge. And so it was, the challenge was for 14 days. We didn't quite make the 14 days, but we did make 10 days. We made progress. I went to an event on this past Saturday and I looked better than I did when I went to the event the week before. So I consider that to be a success. All I was trying to do really was just kind of kickstart into a new way of eating, a new lifestyle. It's something that I really need to do for my health all the time, but you know how it is you get sidetracked by side issues on the sidelines and you find yourself eating all sorts of things. So, um, so we kind of broke it as far as the weekend coming up and me going to the party I went to and then my daughter just kind of wanting, just kind of feeling unprepared and fatigued with the whole process and just wanting to, you know, go ahead and just eat something. So we kind of broke off, but we're definitely getting started back. So as of tomorrow, um, I'm going in hard, just like before. I hope she is, and um, she's 23, by the way, so <laughs> it's not like I could just force her to eat what I'm eating. But I hope that she's going in too, because it really does, It really, I find that it felt cooler, like having a partner that you knew somebody else was doing it with you. And when you think about cheating on it, you're like, oh, but I don't want to cheat. And then, you know, she's over there being really strict. And also you want to get results. So with all that being said, I'm getting ready to show you what I do and how I do it for my fruit cup business. But these today are not quite fruit cut business style. It's something I'll do a little bit different um, when I know that they're going to be for sale. Uh, like wear gloves and stuff like that. But these are for us. And I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and get my bowls and stuff ready start preparing just taking my strawberries and dumping them in giving them a quick look to see if they have any visible mold they all appear to be good right now I'm gonna keep going anyway so I have my bag of bread grapes I'm gonna go ahead and dump these in one day I'm gonna have a garden and I'm gonna use all of this all these stems and all the pineapple cutaways for compost for my garden. But right now, I have to just throw it away. So, got a bag of green grapes, two nice size stems in there, a bag of uh, purple, call them black grapes at the store, but they look purple to me, so I call them purple grapes. Once I get everything in here, now it's time to just start pulling them away. And I've tried this many ways. Personally, I like the grapes better when I screw them off, kind of like a screw. So I'll take the bottom part of the stem. I take the bottom part of the stem and I twist but when you're doing a whole bunch of these, it's very, very time consuming. It looks better just to twist it off. I don't know if you can see that. It looks better just to twist it off. <laughs> there we go. But for the sake of time, which is a lot more important when you're doing this for business let you see see how many I can pull off at one time 
And these are acting really good. These look just about the same. That looks just about the same as twisting. But for some grapes, twisting is a whole lot neater. Lean over this a little bit. Twisting is a whole lot neater, um, depending upon the grape. But pulling is a whole lot faster. So I will get all these pulled off and I will be back soon. I think I'll put some lip gloss on. <laughs> this is my uh, makeup after mm, several hours after I first put it on this morning. And my lipstick doesn't last because I don't really like to drink out of straws. I drink my drinks out of the glass itself or the cup because I also like to eat the ice it's so hot outside so I also like to eat the ice so I have on no lipstick but I'm gonna put some lip gloss on because my lips do feel a little dry especially when talking and then I will pull the rest of these um, grapes off the stems and then I'll be right back of grapes let me make sure I'm talking loud enough I have uh, went ahead and started washing them Strawberries are pretty soft. I just have to stop and say here that no, I am not left handed. So, what happened was when I turned the iPad around to record on the front camera because I couldn't tell how to get a good picture just by using the back camera um, the, the video 
flipped or yeah I would say that it flipped and it's showing me like on the other side <laughs> I don't know what is that mirror image I don't know what the what you call that image but it just looks so funny to me <laughs> it looks like I'm really just proficient with using my left hand and I'm totally right-handed so I just thought I would stop and insert that as I look back at the video <laughs>
So the last step is chill and eat. So what I normally do is go ahead and put these in the refrigerator uh, before I start eating them. I mean, I might eat one if I wanted to just be the room temperature kind of chilled fruit, but it's something about putting them in the refrigerator overnight that's just, I don't know, makes everything taste like candy. <laughs> so I put them in the refrigerator wait overnight and then um they are ready to go and so i'll probably uh, get two of these out of the fridge in the morning take them to work with me uh, maybe have one more in the evening um, i'm also going to be getting my uh, some melon to add to this for our for our um, diet so this is uh this is what i do and that's how i do it for my fruit company, Bite H2O, and then also just, you know, for myself, for my eating and weight loss plan, which has actually been working. So I'm gonna be weighing myself probably starting tomorrow morning when I get started again, so I know my weight, and then I'll be keeping up with my weight loss as well this time. I didn't check it last time. I, did, I just wanted to see some results, but now I'm gonna keep up with the weight part too. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, if you could do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, um, share the video, do all the things. All right. Okay. Thank you. And I will see you soon. Bye.